This question comes from CompDoc. Uh, I currently run all my VMs through VirtualBox and was wondering what your opinion is on virtual machine argument of VirtualBox versus VMware. What is your personal preference? Just curious. Right, uh, so this is for virtualization. Uh, was it type? Uh, I got this confused. Type two hypervisors. Basically, you install the virtualization software onto an operating system, so you can put another operating system on there. So you use this a lot. You know, if you have a Windows computer and you want to create instances of Linux, or if you're using a Mac computer like I do and you want to create instances of uh, Windows, basically you install this virtualization software on there so that you can do it. So VirtualBox is most people's perennial favorite. The reason is is because it's essentially free. It's open source so on and so forth. Uh, there, are other there are other options out there though. There's a VMware like for Mac, there's VMware Fusion. Um, beyond that, there's uh, Parallels, and there's a lot of other options out there. So the question is, is what do I personally prefer? I personally prefer uh, VMware. Uh, for me, and one of the reasons is because I only have to buy one license. So basically I have only have one Mac that I run it on. So I only have to buy one license, so paying 50 bucks for it is no big deal. And that's why I don't have the price issue. What I get concerned about with VirtualBox, and this is one of those things that you guys should be thinking about, is the licensing. Last time I checked with the licensing, um, again, with VirtualBox, there was this whole thing, again, about commercial use. So for private, nonprofit use, it is free. Uh, for commercial use, you're actually supposed to pay $50 or something along those lines. You're supposed to pay for the license. And so that's where I get a little wiggly with a lot of this, this open source software, the software that seems to be free, is when you start getting into these licensing issues. And so what I personally prefer, just me being a professional, is I, I prefer not having to worry about licensing. I prefer just dropping 50 bucks and knowing knowing I'm good um, and not having to worry about other, all these other issues. So for me, really, it comes down to licensing. I mean, I, could, I guess I could come up with some other stupid ass argument, but it's not, I mean, VirtualBox is good, right? It's not really, I mean, again, VMware, VM, again, I use VMware Fusion. Uh, it's good, it's fine, it works. Um, I don't seem to notice any issues. Um, technically, VMware or Fusion or whatever might be a little bit better, um, but, but, yeah, it's not really from a technical side, it's just from that, that whole licensing side. I get a little nitpicky on licensing. If you're not nitpicky on licensing, do what you want. But this is an important thing to think about. Again, a lot of technology professionals, you don't think about it. Uh, they don't even want to think about it. You know, VirtualBox is free. Like, eh, look at that licensing. And again, once you get into the business world, and once you have compliance issues, and once you have that all that kind of stuff, a lot of times just dropping a couple of bucks on the table makes life a lot easier. Now there is a question between something like virtual box because he, again, you guys are not specific. Sometimes you guys are not specific enough. And so there's a virtual box. And when you say VMware, are you talking about something like VMware ESXi? So virtual box is a type, uh, hope I'm not screwing this up, a type two hypervisor. So a type two hypervisor, you install an operating system onto a computer Mac, Linux, whatever. You then install a Type 2 hypervisor on top of that operating system, and then you create instances within that Type 2 hypervisor, right? Uh, so the issue, the, the nice part about this is it's a lot easier to manage because you've got a nice graphical user interface. You're basically dealing with it within a normal operating system environment. So, um, so if you're doing testing, like a lot of web developers, you know, they'll do this for testing. App developers will use this for testing. Uh, but then the question becomes, if you're going to put this virtual machine into a production environment, right? So let's say you're going to be running a web server off of it or a uh, file server or whatever kind of server. Well, so you have type two hypervisors that are built on top of operating systems. Then you have what are called type one hypervisors. So with this, you're talking about Zen, XEN, you're talking about ESXi, um, these type of hypervisors. And these type of hypervisors, basically the hypervisor and the operating system is the entire is the entire distribution. So you install a type one hypervisor onto bare metal, bare metal uh, hardware. Um, that creates an environment so you can install virtual machines onto that type one hypervisor, and then you manage those machines using a management console from a different computer. This is better in a production environment because you use far less resources, right? So if I install Windows 10 uh, onto a machine, and then I install VirtualBox, and then I install a Linux instance on top of all that, Windows 10 is going to be burning up 
one to two gigs of RAM, it's gotta be burning up all of these resources simply for Windows 10 to be operational. Beyond that, you also have security issues, right? If somebody can compromise your Windows 10 um, host operating system, you can run into problems. Right? Whereas if you have a bare metal hypervisor, basically you simply need the resources for that hyper hypervisor to work. So let's say 256 megs of RAM versus two gigs of RAM, right? Uh, very, very, very low overhead. So that, that's where you get into a production environment. You want to use a type one hypervisor in a production environment. Uh, you want to use a virtual box or a type two hypervisor in, in kind of a testing environment. So if you're talking about Virtual box versus something like VMware Fusion, type two hypervisor versus type two hypervisor, it comes down to licensing, is what I would say. Maybe there are some issues. I haven't personally seen them, so I don't care. It comes down to licensing. If you're talking about virtual box, a type two hypervisor against VMware ESXi, a type one hypervisor, again, if you're going into a production environment, you're gonna have these machines up 24 hours a day, you're going to be, have, be having users hammer the hell out of them, you wanna go with that type one hypervisor versus virtual box. Generally, if you have a testing environment, you go with virtual box. Ah, I hope all that makes sense. <laughs> hypervisors, hypervisors, hypervisors everywhere.